Hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all to my channel and today I am going to show you how to speed up Windows 11. So there are some steps that you need to follow in order to speed up your Windows 11. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to clean all the temp file. And the way to do it is just press the Windows along with the R key on your keyboard. And now in this run window just type temp and click on the okay button now just select all these temporary files by just pressing control a and now just press on the delete key on the keyboard click on the continue button now close this window and now again press the windows along with the r key and now just type percent temp percent and click on the okay button now just select all the temporary files by pressing control a and then just press on the delete key on the keyboard click on the continue button so there will be some files that will not get deleted so just click on the skip button to skip them click on the skip button just select this do this for all current items and click on the skip button so these files are in use currently so that's why they are not getting deleted now just close this window and now again press the windows along with the r key and now just type prefetch and click on the okay button again select all the files and press the delete key on the keyboard click on the skip button now close this window again press the windows along with the r key and this time type tree and click on the okay button now the next step that you have to do is you have to do clean boot clean boot means you have to stop some unwanted services that are running in the background and the way to do it is just click on the search button and now in the search bar just type ms config now just click on this search result system configuration now in the general tab make sure that this option is selected selective startup if it is normal startup in your system then just change it to selective startup now go to the services tab and now just click on this hide all microsoft services just check this box so it will show all the services that are not microsoft services now what you have to do is you have to disable all these services and the way to do it is just click on the disable all button and now we will disable some startup apps or programs that starts with your system and the way to do it is just click on the startup tab and then just click on this open task manager now just click on all these apps one by one and disable them so just click on it and click on the disable button similarly do it for the other apps except for the windows security notification so just close this after doing it now just click on the apply button and click on the okay button so it will ask you to restart your system after doing this change but you just click on this exit without restart button as we will restart the system at the end now the next step that we have to do is we have to do disk cleanup and the way to do it is just click on the search button and in the search bar just type disk cleanup ya yeah, just click on this search result disk cleanup click on the okay button now just check all the boxes and click on the okay button click on the delete files button 
क्लिक ऑन दी कंटिन्यू बटन नाउ अगेन क्लिक ऑन दी सर्च बटन एंड अगेन क्लिक ऑन डिस क्लीन अप क्लिक ऑन ओके बटन एंड नाउ जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस क्लीन अप सिस्टम फाइल्स बटन क्लिक ऑन ओके बटन नाउ जस्ट चेक ऑल दी बॉक्सेस एंड नाउ जस्ट क्लिक ऑन ओके बटन क्लिक ऑन डिलीट फाइल्स बटन सो वी आर डन विद दिस डिस क्लीन अप प्रोसेस एंड नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू डिसेबल सम अनवॉन्टेड सर्विसेज एंड दी वे टू डू इट इज जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दी सर्च बटन एंड नाउ इन दी सर्च बार जस्ट टाइप सर्विसेज जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस सर्च रिजल्ट सर्विसेज एंड नाउ इन दिस लिस्ट ऑफ सर्विसेज जस्ट सर्च फॉर डाउनलोड मैप्स मैनेजर सो हेयर इट इज डाउनलोडेड मैप्स मैनेजर जस्ट राइट क्लिक ओवर इट क्लिक ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ जस्ट चेंज दी स्टार्टअप टाइप फ्रॉम ऑटोमेटिक टू डिसेबल्ड एंड इफ दी सर्विस स्टेटस इज स्टार्ट देन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दी स्टॉप बटन टू स्टॉप इट देन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दी अप्लाई बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन दी ओके बटन नाउ जस्ट सर्च फॉर आई पी हेल्पर सो हेयर इट इज आई पी हेल्पर राइट क्लिक ओवर इट क्लिक ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज एंड चेंज दी स्टार्टअप टाइप फ्रॉम ऑटोमेटिक टू डिसेबल्ड क्लिक ऑन दी स्टॉप बटन टू स्टॉप दी सर्विस एंड क्लिक ऑन दी अप्लाई बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन दी ओके बटन सो इफ इन योर सिस्टम इफ यू आर नॉट यूजिंग दी आई पी सिक्स एड्रेस देन जस्ट डिसेबल दिस सर्विस नाउ दी नेक्स्ट वन इज टच की बोर्ड एंड हैंड राइटिंग पैनल सर्विस सो हेर इट इज टच की बोर्ड एंड हैंड राइटिंग पैनल सर्विसेज जस्ट राइट क्लिक ओवर इट क्लिक ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज चेंज दी स्टार्टअप टाइप फ्रॉम मैनुअल टू डिसेबल्ड क्लिक ऑन दी स्टॉप बटन क्लिक ऑन दी अप्लाई बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन दी ओके बटन नाउ जस्ट सर्च फॉर जियो लोकेशन सर्विस सो हेर इट इज जस्ट सेलेक्ट इट राइट क्लिक ओवर इट क्लिक ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज चेंज दी स्टार्टअप टाइप फ्रॉम मैनुअल टू डिसेबल्ड क्लिक ऑन स्टॉप बटन क्लिक ऑन दी अप्लाई बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन दी ओके बटन नाउ जस्ट क्लोज दिस विंडो एंड नाउ दी नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू मेक सम चेंजेस इन दी विंडोज इलेवन सेटिंग्स सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू चेंज दी पावर मोड सो जस्ट गो टू दी स्टार्ट बटन राइट क्लिक ओवर इट एंड क्लिक ऑन सेटिंग्स ऑप्शन नाउ जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस ऑप्शन पावर एंड बैटरी so now what you have to do is you have to change your power mode to balanced so if it is something else in your system then just change it to balanced so this step will improve your battery life now next thing that we will do is we will disable restartable apps so to make the user experience faster and smoother windows 11 starts some apps in the background automatically so we need to stop it and the way to do it is click on the accounts option in the left hand side click on sign in options now just go down and now for this option automatically save my restartable apps and restart them when i sign back in just turn it off in your system if it is turn on by clicking on this toggle Now next thing that we have to do is we have to disable the animation and visual effects. So just click on this option personalization in the left hand side. Now just click on colors. And now for this option transparency effects. Just turn it off. Just click on this toggle. Now go to the left hand side and click on accessibility option. now click on visual effects 
Now for the option transparency effects, just toggle it off. And for the animation effects also, just toggle it off. Now close this window and now go to the search bar. And now in the search bar, just type view advanced system settings. So here it is view advanced system setting. Just click on it. The search result. Now under performance, just click on this settings button and just choose this option adjust for best performance. After this, just click on the apply button, click on the OK button, click on the OK button. And now next thing that we have to do is we have to disable notifications and tips. So just go to the start button, right click over it, click on settings option. Now just click on this option notifications. Go down and just uncheck these two options. Now close this window. Now next thing that we have to do is we have to disable the VBS. So just click on the search button and in the search bar just type core isolation. So just click on this search result core isolation. And now just make sure that this button is turned off in your system like it is now. So this option is basically for the gamers and if they want to speed up their Windows 11 for gaming purpose then they must toggle it off in their system. Now next thing that we have to do is we have to disable the gaming mode. So if you are not a gamer then just disable it. So just go to the start button right click over it click on settings option click on gaming option in the left hand side now just click on this xbox game bar and just toggle it off go to gaming and click on game mode now and again just toggle it off similarly do it for the captures option after this just go to the privacy and security option and in the right hand side just click on find my device option and just make sure that this option find my device is toggle off in your system now again go to the privacy and security and this time just click on general option and just toggle these options off all these options go to the privacy and security go down and then just click on location make sure that it is turned off location service for the location history just click on clear button go back go down click on notifications and just toggle off this option notification access go back and now just click on account info and just toggle this off this option account info access again go back Now do the same thing for the email, messaging, radios, calendar and that's it. And now the next thing that you have to do is just click on the system option and click on storage. Then just click on temporary files. Just select all these checkboxes, all these and then just click on remove files button after checking all these checkboxes click on the continue button now click on storage 
and now you have to enable storage sense option so just toggle it on so what this will do is it will automatically free up space delete temporary files and manage locally available cloud content so it will automatically delete your system temporary files you don't have to do anything now next thing that you have to do is just click on apps click on apps and features and now just uninstall the software that you don't require or you are not using so suppose if you are not using microsoft teams then just click on these three dots and click on the uninstall option to uninstall the microsoft teams similarly if you are not using this weather app then just click on this three dots and click on uninstall option now after doing these steps just restart your system now i would like to give you some recommendations so the first one is do not install a third party antivirus so windows 11 already have a built in security system in it called windows defender so there is no need of extra antivirus in your system so just uninstall it if you have it and just do not install it as it can slow down your system performance the next one is if you want to speed up your windows 11 pc for gaming purpose then just disable vbs and i have already showed you how to do it now if you want to speed up windows 11 startup process then just turn off startup apps and upgrade your hard disk to ssd increasing the ram in your system and upgrading your hard disk to ssd can considerably improve your system performance and make it faster so these were the steps that you need to follow on your system to speed up your windows 11 so that's it from my side if you like my video you can click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching